This video is Zygate Access Control Keystroke Logging. The objective of this video is to show how XAC can be configured to provide full and partial keystroke auditing. When XAC is configured to control the entire tackle or OSH session, all keystrokes are audited regardless of whether the user is using an ordinary tackle or invoking XAC commands as another user. In this example, user input received by XAC is written to the tackle process and XAC's audit file. By default, output from tackle is not written to XAC's audit file. To control the entire tackle session, the SSH or TelServe process starts an XAC process instead of a tackle process. In turn, the XAC process starts a tackle process. User input and output flows through the XAC process, enabling full keystroke auditing of input to tackle and optionally output from tackle. In the SSH configuration for the tackle odd service, the program is Zygate AC. The parameter configured is the name of the command in the ACACL file that XAC will request from the database server object process. The TelServe tackle service is configured similarly. XAC sessions are unique for each user. However, all XAC processes request XAC commands from a single shared database server object process. In this example, the TelServe process starts an XAC process and passes it the Tackle Dynamic IP XAC command name. The XAC process requests the Tackle Dynamic IP XAC command from the DBSO process. The Tackle Dynamic IP XAC command causes a tackle process to be started as the current logged on user. XAC can audit to a file, process, or IP address. In this example, XAC is auditing to a file. Auditing is configured in the AC comp file. This example shows the default XAC audit configuration. Invoke causes the audit to include how the session was started, from what user, on which terminal, at what time, and with what startup command. Detail causes the audit to include the commands that were performed by the user in the XAC session. The contents of the XAC audit file can be viewed a number of ways. In this example, the Zygate Report Manager was used. XAC audit file entries are made for all activity, regardless of whether from Tackle or a program utility such as FOP. If only partial keystroke auditing is required, the SSH or TelServe process starts a Tackle process as usual. XAC is used only when the user requires access to Tackle, OSH, or a subsystem utility program as another user. In this example, the user needs access to FUP as super super. The FUP255 XAC command provides this access to authorized users. The FUP255 XAC command causes a FUP process to be started as super super. Once again, the Zygate Report Manager was used to view the XAC audit file contents. With partial keystroke auditing, audit entries are made only when XAC commands are invoked. 